thing I want to show you is the uh, the three size. Now this is a leaf stand. This is um, a single front piece. I'm just gonna roll this one out of here. So the the uh, plate is actually being held in by these little leaves. Now I bend these to fit, but you have the option of you know if it fits in there, great. This is a little pocket vase, so that looks quite nice in there. The aluminum is quite soft, so it does allow you a little bit of flexibility. So you can take, I use a, a magic duct tape on a pair of little uh, needle nose pliers, and it really allows me a lot of freedom in moving the metal. Probably not a good idea to do it when the glass is in there. But you can, you know, twist the metal. Just be very, very careful. The, the aluminum is soft, so it allows you the flexibility, but you don't want to be going back and forth and back and forth because it definitely will break off. So, And the other thing that these stands are good for is that because they're kind of bowed and they will allow you a little bit of movement this way as well. So if you find that something's a little bit loose, you can gently, gently, you know, move your arm down a little bit. Same with this one, you can move it in a little bit, you can move it up a little bit, to, so that it nicely, nicely holds. Now it doesn't have to squeeze it, but it's nice if it has a bit of a grip. So this one now is a little bit too tight because I did open it up, so I'm just going to or close it, so I am gonna open it up a little bit. And that sits in there quite nicely, very, very secure. Looks nice, can be painted, can be left silver. And that comes in three sizes. This one will hold anything from about a seven and a quarter to an eight inch uh, disc with that little bit of flexibility. This one is a little bowl. So I took the same idea, shaped it into a mold. And now you can see this one rolls in a little bit smoother because it's a little bit smaller. Now, if I wanted this one to be tight, I would just, you know, work the pieces in and just make sure that it all held. But you know what? That's good enough, too. That's going to, and it's going to be easy if you want to use this bowl. You take it out, you use it, you wash it back up, and you put it back in the display. These have a little slot in the bottom so that anything round will sit in that slot and stay there. So you don't have to worry about it, you know, coming dislodged. The leaves will hold it anyways. This is the larger size, and this is just a flat disc. This, um, how to make these, is on one of the tutorials, and this is done with a single piece of Tecta and Frit. Make these, they are amazing. They work for everything. This is slumped into a little bowl. Same idea, um, I add all my uh, other flat pieces to this, it's nice and light, it's inexpensive, and again, this just pulls right out of that and uh, and slides back in. So if this was shaped into a bowl, again, you can fool around with it. If you want, you can have the small leaf behind and the big leaf in front so that, you know, you have more of that look at the front. You just play with it, but be very, very careful because, um, you know, the metal will only take a certain amount of stress. So. Now this piece here, again, also works very, very nicely with our flat pieces. These ones are meant to be siliconed on and then hung. So you can see how pretty that would look. Um, I always attach, I drill my hole into my glass because if something happens, uh, the glass is going to stay safe if this falls off. And I've never, ever had a piece fall off. But having said that, I take a great deal of care when I'm siliconing um, the pieces on. Now, what I use is a awning and gutter silicone. And it's very important that it be sunproof, rainproof. Because if this goes outside, you want it to be safe. And if it goes inside, it's doubly safe. There's a little bit of flexibility, so you don't have to worry about your two pieces separating. So um, it always, you know, when you're finished, you're lucky enough to end up with a little plug like that that comes out and your silicone is ready to squeeze out. But I'll show that on a different tutorial and uh, then you can see how we, we set up the flat pieces. But so this is a good idea for nice and light, paint them, don't paint them, experiment with your discs. The only thing that probably can't go in here is a square piece. That's like putting a square peg in a round hole. So.